So for the love of apples, stop buying stupid stuff. If we keep buying low quality games, we will keep getting low quality games. Got it? Cool. Right. I'm we'll get back to that later. So for all of you who ran to the comments to scold me and tell me that not all games should be like Red Dead Redemption 2. Or if you ran to the comments to tell me that the best game ever made is this one. Hang on and listen. Many people have different preferences when it comes to what games they play. And sometimes we get lost on what makes gaming unique. Now, Red Dead Redemption 2 embodies what I believe a game should be. Keep in mind, this is subjective. So if I hurt your feelings or if you don't agree with me, firstly, I'm sorry. Secondly, toughen up. Some of us enjoy RPG games. Some of us enjoy fantasy games or fantasy RPG or realistic and immersive games or even shooter games. Some of you people even enjoy sporting games and fishing. Regardless of your preference in genre, I'm pretty sure we can all agree on one point. Games should be fun. It should be something that pulls you away from the stresses and problems of day-to-day -day life and pull you into a world that is not your own. A world where you can be free and relaxed. And sadly, with the rise in crappy quality AAA titles, we have seen a drastic decline in the types of games we were also fascinated with growing up. And those AAA titles were some of the hardest hitting games out there. Think back on Assassin's Creed for example, or Call of Duty. Seriously, what the hell happened? So, back to RDR2. This game should have won Game of the Year. It is one of the most detailed, thought out and impactful games ranking up there with Witcher 3. Many, many people claim that this is the best game ever made. Now, I myself would not go that far, but I can definitely see the appeal. I mean, you are pulled into the Wild West, dropped into the shoes of one Arthur Morgan, and pushed into a vast, rich, and lively open world. A world where you can feel every step you take. A world that does not rush you. Honestly, name me a, a, another game where you could just trot around with your horse and still feel like you are already at your destination. And Rockstar does not expect you to rush the story. They expect you to enjoy the, the open world with hunting, fishing, robbing, camping, reading, living and experiencing the Wild West. It is a game that embodies immersion. It embodies everything that a game should do for you as a player. Every mission and side mission you participate in feels like it was meant to be done at exactly the time you decide to do it. When hunting, you have to be intentional with every step you take in tracking down your prey and also be intentional with what you carry with you after the fact. When you explore, you come across many different scenes that tell you a story if you bother to look. When robbing stores and civilians, you need to be observant for any potential witnesses and have an escape plan in mind when you need to disappear or blend into the crowd and environment. Every choice you make has weight and intent behind it. You are Arthur Morgan with that controller in your hand. Or mouse and keyboard, if you are entitled. <laughs> Again, I am not saying that every game should be like Red Dead Redemption 2. But it should be something where you can go and escape and have fun however you want. And I'm pretty sure many of you can make this case for other games. But let's not mention the likes of Elden Ring, even though it shattered records and probably is the best game ever based on the results. And there's talk of hanging them. Here's open. Arthur, what? Regardless, AAA developers have stopped caring about the games that they produce. Ubisoft and Activision are pumping out games every year like it's a frickin' farming simulation, simply to milk us for all that we are worth. There is a reason that Hidetaka Miyazaki oversees every aspect of his games. There is a reason that Rockstar takes years to produce new games. I mean, we're probably going to wait another two years for, for GTA 6. And that reason is very simple. They care. 
but we as a gaming community are also responsible. Innovation dies when we stop caring as well. So for the love of apples, stop buying stupid stuff. If we keep buying low quality games, we will keep getting low quality games. Got it? Cool. I'm curious to know what your favorite video games are, so please share with me in the comments. I'd love to interact with you lot. <laughs> but that's all for now. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And maybe consider subscribing. It really does help me out. I see every new subscriber I get. I get very excited every single time I get a new one. And for the hundred of you that are already there, thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate all of you. Also, if this video hits 100 likes, I'll give the first hundred free cookies. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe. And may God bless you all.